Hello and welcome to this late afternoon taste challenge. We have two brandies, 40% alcohol. This is Raynaud. In England, it sold as three barrels. But uh, for the world, it's Raynaud. It's made by a company. It says on the back of the bottle, a family owned company located in Cognac, France. Raynal N. Company, Raynal SC. Introduced 1814, imported by William Grant and Sons, same people that make Grant's whisk, you know, a Scotch whiskey. Uh, VSOP age four to six years. There is a Raynal XO that I was able to find out about, but um, I don't know about the VS. I didn't check, but um, or I don't remember, but uh, we don't get the XO here, to my knowledge. Seventeen dollars. I bought this seventeen dollars. Now here's Corbell, California brandy. I did a review one time of the Corbell XS, which is a spiced brandy. I did an online hangout examination with Tanya Mikowski for that one. We both liked it. Uh, Corbell 1889, I've been making this since 1889. It says California Champagne Cellars. This is their brandy from Francis Corbell, an immigrant from uh, the Austrian Empire. 40% alcohol. He was a revolutionary, left wing revolutionary. And he moved to California. Well, that makes <laughs> that fits. Okay. Um, bottle distilled. By Corbell Brothers di Giorgio, California. It's blended and bottled. It's distilled in Dior di Giorgio, California, but it's blended and bottled in Guerneville, California. This is a 2019 bottle. 2019, 238th day at 14 hours and 12 minutes to 12 p.m. California time. Uh it's a little dusty on the, I do dust my bottles, but this one's dusty. I'm gonna go clean it up. Now, when I bought this three years ago, it was $14.99 for the liter bottle. It's going up, I think, at $16.99 for this liter bottle now. I bought it at Dornex. I don't see it anywhere else. The Corbell XS, I did buy at a local store here, which was demolished and replaced by uh, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Hector Lopez says, afternoon, Ronald. Afternoon to you, Hector. All right, so, um, okay, got my right, li correct labels. So the Corbell is a cheaper product. I don't mean it's a less well-made product. It's just less expensive. So they distill it in one town. They send it to another town in California where they blend it and um, bottle it. Oh, that's tight. I remember this from the past. The cap was so tight. No air getting into that thing. Whew. Neoprene cap, rubberized. Neoprene with the use of the bottom of shoe, shoe soles, you know, like tennis shoes, that's spongy rubber material. All right. So there's the Francis Corbell mansion. They have, it's still there in California. They have, a, they have events like people rent this for like a real expensive events, conferences and things like that. Pour too much. Let's see if I can get get back in. I did mostly. Yeah, 
that's better. Okay. So Corbell. They make many others besides this one. This is the only one I saw at the store. At Door Next Food Store. Spill. Oh well, let's get a towel. I thought it was going to go quicker than it's going, but it's not going so well. Okay. Copper and darker copper. So the Raynal is darker. It's not way darker, but it is a little darker. So we got California, USA versus France. It's sad about those two Americans who died in Mexico. It's very scary to be vi visiting Mexico now. How are your day going? I know I don't go to Mexico anymore. I used to like to go down there. I drive there. I can get there. If I would leave at five in the morning here and take my time too now. Take my time. Really not rushing too much. I get there for three in the afternoon. Of course, in Texas, you can drive 75 miles an hour. You visit Tijuana. Tijuana recent, huh? I'd like to go to Tijuana. I never went to Tijuana. I went to Tecate. I didn't make it to Mexicali. There was some kind of border problem. I don't mean like violence. There was some kind of, like they were saying some kind of, board, like a leak, a water leak or something when I was there. It was some kind of problem with that. And they were like, don't come here because the traffic. And I was like, oh, well, never mind Mexicali. So I went to Tecate. But I never went back. That was 17 years ago. <clears throat> I mean, I've been back to Mexico before, after then, after that period, but not that far west. I was like in, uh, you know, like Reynosa and uh, Piedras Negras and Coila, not Coila, that's a state, um, Acuna, Ciudad Acuna, stuff like that. Okay. But it wasn't like in the 90s, 1990s, man. It was hopping. There was so much fun stuff to do. Have you ever accidentally dropped a bottle on the floor in, at the store? No, I haven't. I dropped a bottle of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale one time. It, luckily, it didn't break. Wow, I can't believe it. Oh, I did knock some bottles over one time. I didn't drop them. I knocked them over. I was trying to straighten stuff out when I was shopping, and the bottle fell over, and it hit the ground, and it, was, it broke the seal, and it was going everywhere. And I told the guy in the store, I'm sorry. I was trying to – he said, don't worry about it. But I felt terrible, you know. All right, let's mix them up a little bit more. smells just like standard brandy, like the grape skins, the caramel, the alcohol, the um, wood. It's not, yeah, just standard. If you're used to whiskey, you see some crossover with brandy because it smells like 
liquor, but there's, it doesn't cross over so well. But it does a little bit. But I don't think you'd ever blind taste it and think it was whiskey and no. Yeah, the aroma on these two is kind of similar, but this one has more of a, like a turn fruit nose, which makes me think French brandy, because French brandy has that. It's like rotted fruit. You say, oh, yeah, I know it's smell. It sounds bad, but it doesn't really taste bad. All right, taste time, Chaz. It's almost like smoke. <laughs> it's like wood, caramel, and smoke. I can't get over that. Well, I know that can't be Raynal. Tommy Carroll. Cheers, Louisiana Liquor Reviews. Thanks. Cheers back to you, viewer. All you viewers. Got that caramel. Now, that thing this morning, that Odessa from Odessa, Ukraine, BSOP, it tasted like butterscotch. And I knew I wasn't going to get that wrong. This one, they're close. They're close. They're close. They're close. Now, which one is better? Oh, they're about the same. So uh, which one would I buy? I'd buy the Corbell because it's uh, I got it for $14.99 for a liter. And the other one was $17 for a regular bottle. So, yeah, obviously I get the Corbell. The enjoyment level is about the same. So um, do I rec recognize, <laughs> do I recommend... The Raynal, I do recommend it. I can't sit here and say, oh, it's so exciting. It's such an exciting flavor. It's an exciting drink. You just can't believe it. It's nothing like that. It's just regular old brandy. It's like saying most of these whiskeys that you buy, it's just like regular old whiskey. Craft Beer Tastic says, I bet a lot of distillers use turn fruit in their mash because it probably costs next to nothing and still has all the sugar content. Yes, that's probably a good a good thing. And I had never thought of that. That's probably a smart, uh, you know, a wise saying or a a clever way to think about it because I had never thought about that. But then how would you know? You know, if it tastes good and it's distilled out, if it's rotted fruit, they got it on the aftermarket from wherever. Hey, well, what the diff what's the difference? Some old rotted grapes. Or if you're making citrus brandy or some of these really cheap off-brand. Hey, if it, you know, brandy, but it has, if it's some other kind of product like strawberry brandy or apple brandy, it doesn't matter if it tastes good. Um, Hector Lopez says, any plans on a revisit for the Miller beers because of the return to glass bottles? Oh, I don't believe so. I don't believe so, but uh, you never know how I feel about it. I don't think so. Um, I'm sorry that they're getting rid of those plastic ones because you got two extra ounces. I got a bottle of a 42 ounce bottle of uh, Old English in the fridge. So maybe they're only going to do that for some markets. I don't know. I never buy that size anyway. I'd rather have a 12 ounce can or bottle. It's easier to measure what I'm drinking and keep track of it better. 12, tw 22, 12 ounce beers a week. It's easy. I can keep track and ask me track and ask what I drink. 22 a week. And sometimes I go to 24, 22 to 24, typically 22, occasionally 24. I don't go over that and I keep track of it. So when you start getting into 42 ounces, well, now you got a problem because it's hard to track it. Now you're looking at three and a half beers. So it's a pain, you know, in the butt. Okay, I'm going to say this is the Raynal. Got it. Got it. Got him. Okay. Well, they taste similar, but they're not the same. And I don't think you confuse the two. So the winner, um, Corbell, but only because of price. I can't say it's really better, but saving some money so if you're going to save some money hey what's the complaint i don't have a complaint so yeah all right thanks for watching that we got i guess the whole plastic 40 ounce malt liquor thing oh yeah 42 ounce was a total flop i don't think it was a flop i don't think that people liked it 
but I don't think it really hurt the sales. I think people were buying it just as they wanted. They, if they wanted their old English, they bought their old old English. If they wanted their steel reserve, they bought it. Uh, or Magnum when that was out. That's gone for two years now. Sorry to say. But then uh, you got the glass bottle people that really love the glass bottles. And so I guess that's it. Okay. Uh, Anheuser Bush never did go to plastic. They kept their 40 ounce King Cobras and their 40 ounce Hurricane High Gravity, you see. So, all right. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll be on in about 16 minutes, maybe 21 minutes, but we'll be on soon with Examine Lagunitas IPA. And tomorrow morning will be uh, Raynal versus the last brandy I have, an American brandy bottled in Kentucky called Herve. Herve. I bought it a few years ago. Herve. It was $8.99. Now the price has jumped to $9.99. Still cheap. Cheap though. Okay. Herve. You may see it. I know some stores sell it. I've never seen it in my area. But I found it at Hocus Pocus Liquors in Prairieville. That's the name of the town. Prairieville, Louisiana. Louisiana Liquor Reviews bought a six pack of Bitburger Fest beer today for seven bucks. When, what's your opinion of it? I've never had the Bitburger Fest beer. Never seen it. I'd buy it. I love Bitburger. I love Bitburger. So, yeah, I would try it. I just never seen it. I've seen it on the internet, but not in the store. All right. Well, bye bye, everybody. See you soon, like real soon in minutes.